What's up guys, I've been making it here, and welcome back to more Metroid Prime. In the last episode, we fought the boss that I rage quit on last time I tried to play the game. Flag Wait... <laughs> uh -huh. Better remember that name, it's pretty important. Yeah, which is why my co-commentator here is the one actually playing the game, which I guess makes me the co-commentator, even though it's my channel. We're still confused about this. Yeah. <laughs> All we know for certain is that he's playing this game, and I suck at this game. Which is why he's playing. Hey, we're starting off with a new enemy. The Bomboo. Bomba. Bomboo. Pulse Bomboo. Okay, so, nothing special about these enemies, except I do not recommend charging your weapon near them. So you charge your weapon. I, I mean, I know it's just to show them. They sure. charge you. You charge, they <laughs> charge. Exactly. You can actually kill them later in the game, they're not mm -hmm. invincible, but... You oh. don't have the tools for it right now? Yep. For some reason, I look at them and I just think that you somehow like use the grapple oh, beam to pull those little yellow balls off them. <laughs> I don't know why, that's just what scan I Scan this quickly and run. You can scan that later. I just want to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of wasps in that room. Okay, so, you guys might have been wondering last episode that I didn't summarize. We killed a giant flagger boss uh, that Adam Rage quit on. We got the various suit. Did we did we kill the incinerator drone last episode? No, we did that in the episode before. Okay. Either way, we did that too. Um, so it might have been confused, like, why do you need a heat suit? We haven't encountered any extreme heat. Well, we could have if we felt like it. I just know where I'm going and didn't feel like it. This is... Is there a name for this place yet? Magmore Caverns. Yeah, I know, but it hasn't, like... It hasn't done that panorama, no. make more caverns thing. Spoiler. Spoiling the area we're in. It already says <laughs> that. It, it, it said the name. It did? Yes. Did it say it on the elevator? Yeah. I don't know. I'm a little dumb to this game. <laughs> I just... I, I didn't know this place's name. If I wouldn't have known if I hadn't read it. <laughs> okay. I believe you. Like I said, when I tried to play through the game myself, I haven't seen anything past Flagra. So this is the instance of enemies just getting stronger. You need your missile to kill that, but I'm not going to waste a missile on it. It's not in our way, really. Is this the panorama room? No, it must be next room. Panorama ding dong. I wonder if I can do this. Okay. Oh, I can't, I can't do it. I need to practice stuff like this more. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I'm new anyway. I killed it. <laughs> really, one stray bullet and it just dies. There's the panorama. There we go. Are you in the right word? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I think a more accurate way to say it would be a panoramic view. Yeah. But yeah, panorama is the right word. Unless we're both just horribly wrong. Tons of new areas, tons of new enemies. I suggest just standing back and not that far back. <laughs> Spamming your normal attack or charging. Yeah. I don't. I haven't really determined. Charge shots are obviously more powerful, but I mean the time it takes to charge shot. I don't know how many normal shots you have to do to equal that. Equal, or, when you're just doing this, like, I think it gives you a bit more of a... You get more damage doing that? No, I think you get a lot less damage. Oh. And it makes you a lot less more, or a lot less maneuverable. Because if I'm just charging and doing this, it's a wow. lot easier than spamming a button and, as you should. Speaking of maneuverable. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A little bit of a non-obvious thing here, even though it's the main path, but it's kind of oddly placed, if I would say so myself. Ugh. Whoa! Hi. <laughs> I believe I just scanned those, but... I don't know if you did. No, I did. Okay. I scanned everything. I scanned everything really fast, we can get to it later. These things are annoying. Especially if you want to kill them. This is why they're annoying. He was off screen and he wrecked me. 
and he kind of just glitched through the wall a bit there. But... <laughs> <laughs> I think there's only two in here, so I can just... Okay, there we go. Um, can you bring up that web page again? Yeah. Proved you a scan there right now. Yeah, I did. Um, anything special in here I want to get? I guess they're a bit short on missiles. I guess normally I would get this a bit later. But, hi, cow. Um, while we're on the way. <laughs> I don't think the mic picked up the sound of that cow, so that probably just sounded so <laughs> random. <laughs> yeah, I what, I live on a farm, and there's a cow that's locked in a specific section of the pen separate from the other cows, and it's not particularly happy. Why? Because it's locked in a separate section of the pen. Yeah, but why? Why? Why is it? <laughs> because it keeps breaking it out, so... <laughs> No, it, it keeps getting out, so we need to put it in an area that's a bit more enforced. <laughs> Did they hear that one? <laughs> we'll find out when we listen to the recording. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. Uh, okay. Where's the door? I think I see the edge of it there. Okay, I need to look at the orange one. Okay, there we go. <laughs> See, that's what I mean by lighting in this game. Now <laughs> lighten up. Not when I just got eaten by one of those. Actually, I was mean, that just there when you spawned or, or like, was that like... <laughs> I don't like these things. I can see why. I can get out of them quicker if I want to. <laughs> They're just trolls. Uh, here we go. Shut up, cow. I don't care if you hear that or not. <laughs> I'm lost again. I can't see. Okay, there we go. <sighs> okay, I can see again. You think lava would brighten up the place a bit, but <laughs> this is like the darkest place we've been yet. These platforms sink. I don't know if they're scans. Wait, is that blue? Oh no. no. I thought there was a blue health pickup, it was just the purple through the green fog. Okay, so those aren't scans. They would be research scans. Okay, so this is like the main hub. Kind of suggest taking these out before they activate, even though hitting them will activate them. But they can't hit you from that far. Um... What's that warning thing on the left there? Okay, that's probably something to explain. So, the warning thing is environmental hazards. Ah. In this case, it would be warning me that this lava is going to hurt me if I touch it. It even says damage if I touch it. I didn't kill that. Or hit it. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's other environmental hazards in the game too, so no, that is not literally just for lava. It just, it's just, uh, yeah. a suit module. That's what it would be. So it's kind of like a proximity meter? I help. guess. Yeah, because... It's like it fills up more when you get closer to the lava, even to the point of where it went down when you jumped. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it would be a proximity meter and radar, whatever. I haven't been scanning. I wonder if I've missed anything. Nothing in here. Um, something to point out, actually. If there's data on a computer, <coughs> it'll be orange. If you've already scanned it, it'll be faded out. But, if it's red, that means it'll actually count towards your logbook scans. So, you wanna, if you're just going for 100% all scans, you, you're not scanning just to be curious. Oh boy, I wonder how fast I can do this. 
Um, you just want to get everything that's red. Okay. Um, what I'm pulling off right now is a double bomb jump. And yes, it is intended, because... They want you to do it, obviously, to get that. There's another trick you can do called the triple bomb jump, but... Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm capable of it, and that is not intended. <laughs> Although, it's pretty cool. I might try it a bit later. And already, we go into Magmore, and then we're out. <coughs> into a whole new area. That was fast. Nothing doing Magmore right now. Only ten minutes in. Oh, wow. I didn't think Fendrana Drifts was this soon. Yep. Spoiled the area again. <coughs> Jeez. Once again, it said the name. <laughs> I know. I just didn't see it again. <laughs> I just like this Pamorama. Well, actually, I kind of like all the Pamoramas, but... Yeah. Pamoramics. <laughs> Pardon me. You just made this beautiful moment, so... <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. So, along with new areas, we got new enemies. For the second time in this episode. <laughs> okay. I don't actually know... Oh, wait, no, I know where we're going. Yeah, okay. I remember. Just had to think about it a bit. Bergamites, right? Those things? Crystal light. I got the eight part, right? <laughs> <sighs> I hate these games. You can see what I was thinking, Bergmite. They kind of look like little mini sentient icebergs. And that'll open the door directly above. That's a little bit cryptic. Oh. <laughs> I didn't exactly mean to do it that way, but... <laughs> see if I can do this properly. Oh, of course the one time I... Oh, not the one time. The one time I do it, I go right into the water and then I fail that one. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly are you trying to do? It's kind of a glitch. I think it's ish intended. Okay, that was just a really bad job. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. How can a glitch be intended? Well, I mean, I think they intended it for that to be how it's supposed to work, just not to that magnitude. Ah. Because you can kind of get to places you're not supposed to get to with that. Mm. This guy's a bit more interesting than the other one. For some reason, he chooses to spend his life in a tunnel spinning instead of whatever the other one was doing. Charging at you. And here is a she-gob. That picture on the right side I was creepy. <laughs> <coughs> These are a bit more complicated enemies than we've seen so far. Basically, I would just combat dash around them. They don't really react that fast. And you just blow off their shell, and then you make them suffer. That, that was a nice close up, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I just noticed something. We're in the fourth episode, and you haven't mentioned the thing. I haven't really talked about the visor at all yet. There's nothing really much to talk about. You scan stuff with it. When we get new visors, I'll talk about it. Yeah. There are other more interesting visors later in the game, but... I kinda... I didn't really... I didn't, uh... What do you call it? I didn't specifically mention the visor, but I explained it. I was like, you can scan stuff, so... Mm -hmm. Okay, I can do this, I believe. Hey, I don't like this game. <laughs> Actually... I get that now. I, I think I just missed. No, I can't. Okay. Uh, I fell down on purpose to check that. <laughs> <laughs> I won't try this again. I, can, I don't know why I can't do that right now. It's not even hard. I'm just 
doing something wrong. <laughs> I'll fool around with it later. We're kind of in the middle of a let's play. Yeah. Intended ways. <laughs> Boring. Sorry about that little pause there. I just had to check. Um, I have a I have a list of um, the one time scans because I want to make special note of those when we get to them. I was just checking if this was actually a one time scan, even though I think it is, but my list isn't saying it is. Well, you scanned it anyway, so if it is, you got it. If it isn't, you got it. I would note that as a maybe. <laughs> just scan it. Yeah. Just do it. Just scan it. Just scan it. On the other one I missed earlier, that's why I also checked the list when I the one I accidentally killed. I was like, well, no, that's not. That's definitely not a one-time scan right now. Like, um, this the reason I think that these ones are one-time scan is because there are one. There is a one-time scan in this area after you beat a boss, they disappear. Ah. Uh. Oh, actually, that just reminded me. <laughs> There's a one-time scan in this room. And it's probably the most dick... Is it this room? You don't know. Why am I asking you? I'll check in a minute if it's... I thought room. you were asking yourself. <laughs> <coughs> I was expecting an answer from you like you'd know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyways. This is I know what you're talking about. I just don't know the answer. Do you? <coughs> oh, you can Wait. scan those. Or, well, uh, to the, I know what you're talking about to the point of there being a one-time scan in this room that's dickishly placed, according to you. Yeah. Okay. So, stalactites are technically a one-time scan, except they're multiple one-time scans. Basically, as soon as you destroy them all, you can't scan them. I, how do you get up here? Stalactites. Those are those armored enemies you were fighting before, right? No. I mean, literally, the stalactite on the ceiling. Right? Oh! I'm smart. Okay. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, I'm <laughs> Why a... do I think it was those enemies? Uh, I guess because you were talking about something disappearing after you defeat a boss, I was thinking those. I think you're supposed to go up here. Hmm. Either I'm derping out really hard, or you can't jump on this thing. Maybe I'll just look around a bit more. Um, there it is. Okay. So this is probably one of the most dickish one-time scans in the game. I don't think it's as soon as you kill these. But these, this is the only room where you'll find Ice Street Bats. And you will only be passing through this room once or twice on your way to the boss that will despawn them for the rest of the game. Not to mention, as soon as you get close, they kamikaze you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is really true. Speaking of which, we're 19 minutes in. Mm, I'll get this power up coming up and we can end it off there. Alright. You have a little bit to edit out too. I'm yeah. Not sure how long. Maybe. Like half a minute in the most. <laughs> I like this room. The canyon. It's very pretty. I've always loved, loved the aesthetics of snow areas in games. Okay. Well, he wrecked me. Did that thing that deflected back, did that actually damage you? No. Oh. Kind of cool, but... I'd rather it not. Yeah. Okay. So, scan that. Magically puts the platforms in place. And... Michael Bay edited this part. They're exploding behind us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I would not, I didn't catch <laughs> on to that. To be fair, I didn't know they were exploding behind us. I would show it if I could run backwards. And there we have it. We got the boost ball. Ball and morph, press B, hold B. And I think I'll explain a bit more about the boost ball next episode. We'll end it off here. Alright. <laughs> next episode, we'll just... Do what you just said. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Show off for the booster. See you guys then. <laughs>